want to take control of your week instead of letting the week control you? Then you need to organize your week better. Hi friends, this is Smita, a personal empowerment life coach and an executive coach. And today, I'm going to talk about the five highly effective ways to organize your busy week. Life can be chaotic and overwhelming. We all need to take time to stop, calm down and take deep breaths. Everything can feel as though life is running past us. And we can often feel like we don't have any control. And before you know it, the weekend has arrived and the entire week has been a sudden stressful blur. You can, however, take control and organize your week so that it is more relaxed. The five simple tips that I'm going to share with you will help you to start managing your own time effectively and getting some normality back into your schedule. So, ready to know how to organize a busy week? Here we go. Number one, use a diary. Now, this may seem like an obvious step, but as busy people, we are always taking mental notes and storing them in the back of our minds, promising ourselves that we will tackle them at some point. Things will only start moving when you get them out of your head by physically writing them down in a piece of paper. So why not a diary where you organize all such notes together? Buy a diary that suits you. There are tons of custom designs online or you could be extra creative and decorate one that speaks to your personality. You will be more likely to use a diary properly if you feel connected to it and you want to pick it up. Use a physical diary to write down notes and schedule appointments. The physical act of writing an appointment down will likely make you remember your appointments more and may help to reduce that stress. Trust me, it has worked for me. Appointments are scheduled in my calendar, which is online, but I do write the important appointments and other things that I have to do in a physical diary. And that helps. Number two, use a whiteboard. Get a whiteboard in the room that you work in or for an area where you spend a lot of time and write down different tasks that you need to complete. Use different colors for different tasks. You will find yourself remembering what you need to do every time you glance at this whiteboard. It might also be less overwhelming as the thoughts won't constantly be racing around in your mind. And you won't worry about forgetting something. Number three, make a list and prioritize your tasks. If you have multiple jobs, multiple careers or a busy social calendar, it may be hard to keep track of everything at once. While a diary and whiteboard will help, strategizing and putting your ideas down in order or priority can create a tidier mind. Consider what needs to be done first and what you can put off for a while. Organize your tasks in order of absolute priority, considering financial benefits, personal gains, preferences and which tasks are stressing you out the most. Remember, eat the frog. Getting the stressful tasks out of the way first frees up your time for more enjoyable ones. Number four. Factor in some downtime. Even if your week is packed to the brim full of activities and time, factor in some time to do something you enjoy. Schedule it in to make sure you get time to yourself. Whether you enjoy a relaxing bath or indulge in your favorite television show or like me, love reading, having some time to yourself breaks up your stressful week and gives you time to reset and look forward to something you want to do. Number five, create a tick list. This is quite a simple tip, but one that many people find effective. I personally find it very effective. Simply writing down everything you need to do and then ticking off the different jobs as you progress through them will make you feel more in control. 
I can't tell you how good I feel when I do certain activities off my priority list and I tick it. It gives me a sense of satisfaction at the end of the day seeing all my items ticked off. The physical act of removing a job from your list gives you satisfaction and control as you see the job list slowly decreasing. You will feel more in control and gain a real sense of achievement. This is coming from my personal experience. Life doesn't have to be overwhelming. While it's true that sometimes we can't eliminate busy periods from our lives, we can do our best to manage them and take back control. Take back control of your day. Try these five tips to organize your busy week and let me know which one worked the best for you. That was all for today, friends. I'll see you next week. If you liked the content in this video, do drop in a comment and share this in your network. Until I meet you next week, bye-bye.